In this how-to video for our vinyl, you're going to see how to wrap a Harley Davidson motorcycle with a big emphasis put on the gas tank area and you're going to see a beautiful end result. We begin with the material and tools that you'll need and obviously you'll need film, tape measure, squeegees with a buffer on it, in this case monkey strips, a snap-off blade to ensure that it's always sharp, 3M knifeless tape, then aftercare and cleaners to prep the surface, as well as a microfiber towel. Remove any hardware that is in the way of the areas being wrapped. Now it's time for cleaning. It's a good idea to always spray directly on the microfiber towel. That way the surface isn't too wet. Make sure you're extra thorough. Work the main surface area and also get into deep crevices. When done, go over with a heat gun just to make sure the surface is 100% dry. Next up is measuring each section. It's very important to cut the sections that they have enough bleed left to right, top to bottom, and that is extra material, roughly three inches on each side. Then go to a cutting table, which is always the safest way to cut it down, and section everything out. For certain areas on the Harley-Davidson, they can be wrapped in one piece, like the front fender and the back fender. So here, remove the liner roughly halfway, make an unnecessary relief cuts to relax the film from one side to the other, stretch the film evenly towards the other side, then pick the film up and shrink it into place. Once the material is relaxed and squeegeed onto the main surface, simply cut the excess film away using a sharp blade angled out and double check with heat. On the back section, which is a little curvier, keep the backing paper on to even out the stretch, tuck the material behind any raised objects, heat the film so it shrinks on the edge for that extra long-term hold, then cut the excess film away with the blade angled out from the edge. And for any sections where the material will be directly cut on the surface, use 3M knifeless tape. And here's a shot of the final result. The gas caps can be very tricky to wrap in one piece without overstretching the film and leading to long-term durability issues. So in this case, you're going to see a great way to wrap the gas tank in what's called a two-tone. So we're actually going to leave the original color of the gas tank on in the middle sections and wrap the top and bottom. So here a template's being made with masking tape and it's framed with 3M knifeless tape on the top and the bottom. And it runs perfectly along the tape and the body line at the back. Now with this section, which has been roughly pre-cut to shape, it slides in on the underside and very important to even the tension out so there's not too much on the edges. So here's pulled along the bottom, nice and firm, which stretches the material slightly. So for the top sections where the material bunches up, it's heated and it literally shrinks into place. This is what's called the Wrap Institute Wrap Matrix Logic, which works really good for compound curves like this. So as the material literally shrinks to the edge, now, simply squeegee the film onto the surface, then release the knifeless tape from one side to the other. So, on the top section, knifeless tape is used because it's a direct cut on the body, and on the underside, a knife can cut the film away. Release the excess film. Now, here at the front, simply tuck the film into the open edge and cut the excess film away, because that's not a cut directly on the body. So, with the bottom side of both sides done, now it's time to focus on the top. Remove the gas cap to make it much easier to wrap this area. But because the gas cap is off, it's highly recommended to immediately put masking tape over the area to avoid any fumes from contaminating the workspace. Once that's done, now it's time for install. So it's very important to start at the curvy section first. So pick the material up and feed it around towards this front side. Tuck it in safely, and once it's set right at the front, even out the tension a little bit left to right. And a good tip is to roll the backing paper into a tube so it acts like a handle. Double check that the front is even one more time, then heat and gently pull the material towards the back. This is again part of the wrap matrix from the Wrap Institute, as well as zero stretch, so the material is literally shrinking while it's being pulled. So once the material has been stretched down the middle portion, now it's time to finish the sides, which in many cases will snap very close to the outside edge. So once the material has been evenly pulled off the top face, now squeegee it and lock it into place so it doesn't move. Now for the sides, pick it up and shrink it back right to the knifeless tape, and you see how quickly it snaps to the edge. On this section here now, heat the film gently and evenly pull the material to the outside edge. Be sure not to pull too hard. Once the film is right on top of the knifeless tape, squeegee it into place, then repeat the same steps for the other side. Once both sides are set, add heat to activate the adhesive so the film holds the position, then simply release the knifeless tape in a long, steady pull. Work from back to the front, then pull the excess film away, and as you can see, there's very minimal tension on the edge. Squeegee it into place, 
and repeat the exact same steps for the other side. With the main area complete, it's time to focus around the gas cap area. It's a good tip to cut a quarter inch from the outside edge, add heat to shrink the film, then form it into place, first with the finger on the top edge, and then with a tucking tool that comes from our vinyl, deep into the groove. Cut the excess film safely away at the bottom of the gas cap, remove the excess film and come in with the tucking tool one more time to seal the deal, and add heat just to double check. Once everything's sealed, you can put the gas cap back on. And the final step for the main piece is to do a 360 degree check over with the heat gun just to make sure all the edges are fully sealed and the adhesive is activating on the surface. And the final step, and as a cool one, is to add a white stripe to the top and bottom of the negative area. This creates an extra custom look, so the focus should be on symmetry. In this case, maintaining a perfect quarter inch gap just above or below the green, then cutting away the excess film at the ends. And then the final, final step of this great install on this Harley Davidson motorcycle is to wipe it down with an aftercare cleaner to really enhance the shine and help with cleaning down the line. Make sure you do a full 360 and here's a shot of the final result. So you can see with these great tips and tricks that come from the Rap Institute and amazing tools and material from our vinyl, you can customize a Harley Davidson quick and easy, even if you're an intermediate or beginner installer, because you got that great two-tone look that really helps minimize tension and makes the install much easier.